thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. We were talking off camera um, about this dietitian and some of the crazy stuff they say. It's almost like, are you getting bought off to promote <laughs> processed foods? What dietitian would promote processed foods? And uh, but her 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 little spiel was that some food is better than no food. So she was saying you have to eat something. So let's pick the lesser of two evils and we have to go get fast food. So I'm going to tell you all the things that you can eat at the fast food restaurant because you got to eat. And right away, and I know you agree with this, we talked about it before we turned this on. Wait a minute. You're saying some food is better than no food. I'm saying no, no food is better than some food. Yeah. Reverse that. So I, yeah, I can't agree more. We were just talking about this. You know, if I don't eat dinner before 6, 630, my cutoff point for digestion is seven o'clock. If I don't start my dinner at 6, 630, I just don't eat because I don't want to go to bed with my glucose high, all of that, that processing through rather than rest and digest when I'm supposed to be detoxing. That is absolutely, I couldn't disagree more with that person because if I have a, if I'm going to go through a, Mc, a McDonald's drive through versus not eat, I'm going to pick the not eat. I'm sorry, but being uncomfortable and being a little hungry, there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Actually, in some circumstances, that is really good for the body. You're your body needs to rest and digest. That's part of a lot of the problems I see in people is that they're eating an abundance of food all day long and they're not caring where it came from. And that's not the way your body is meant to digest. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's um, you're not going to die if no. you miss a meal. Sure not. But we have this rule that we just – is pounded into our heads that, okay, you eat breakfast, you eat lunch, and you eat dinner. Oh, it's lunchtime. I have to eat. No, you don't. No, you don't. What if you're not hungry? Why are you eating? Why are you forcing the body if you are not hungry? I, I just have never understood that. It, it just blows my mind. And my husband came to me the other day, and he's showing me this, this reel about a kid who was on the reel saying, McDonald's hamburgers are good because they only have salt and pepper on them. It do, and he literally said, it doesn't matter if it at some point there was seed oils put in and that it came from being, you know, at the end of the life, it was put through with, with wheat and, and M&Ms and all of the things that they do to fatten up a cow. It doesn't matter if it's done like that. But because it only had salt and pepper on it at the very end, it was fine. I was like, what? That's insanity. <laughs> yeah, you know that old cliche, you are what you eat? Yes. An animal is what they eat. Absolutely. You know, you're going to eat that? I mean, it all, it all comes out in the wash, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. And Or it stays in the body and lends to the bacteria and all the problems you have and you're just thinking, I'm just unhealthy. Something's wrong with me. Well, maybe it's that you haven't done any research into what to eat, how to eat, when to eat, all of those kind of things. Back in the day, our ancestors did not eat 5 million times a day because they felt a little twinge of hunger pains. It didn't happen. Right. And it, there, there's, there's no rule. Oh, it's lunchtime. I have to eat something. I'm full from breakfast, but I have to eat something, so I'm going to go through the fast food. I don't have time, but that's the rule. You have to eat, so I'm going to go through the fast food drive drive through and order the best I can. No, just don't eat. Yeah, I mean, it's you're fine. You're going to be. I promise you, you're not going to starve in a day. <laughs> right. All right, so, Nicole, if people want to reach out to you, um, follow you on social media or know more about you. You, if, if they mention this video, you'll give them a hundred dollars off your program. So how do they find you? 
They can find me at thegutgirl1 at gmail.com or they can find me on Facebook at The Gut Girl or Instagram, The Gut Girl Nevada, NV. Um, and if you do mention this video, um, you will get $100 off. And I read labs. I go over your diet. We do a huge intake form of, of lots of things, including way back in your past. So um, I will dig deep into it for your first session, and then we'll go on from there. And real quick, your degree, tell us a little bit about your degree. My degree, I'm a holistic nutritionist, and I can, cre I can treat across state lines. Um, I went back to school because I myself had a thyroid issue, and I had doctors telling me that I just needed to exercise more when I was a fitness instructor teaching seven classes a week. So I went back to school to learn all about gut digestion so that I can actually get to the root cause of what your health issues are. Right. So with your degree, it's a little different than the dietitian who yeah. says um, you got to eat something. Some food is better than no food. You know, like we already yeah. hammered it, but <laughs> I will not tell you that. Thanks. Thanks for being with us. Nicole. Absolutely. Thank you.